Absolute's armies are on the march, and Baldur's Gate is their target. Yes. Where I can all. What is up, you two? What do you know about me? You spoke of my past being chased by wolves. I told no one about that. Almost no one. But I certainly didn't share that with you. There is nothing I can tell you that you do not already know yourself. They trained you well, trained you hard. Chiseled away any part of you that did not fit their plan. They made you forget. I chose to do that. For the mission to protect Shaz... Secrets. Yes, yes, that is an old song, girl. Your goddess cares more for her precious secrets than she does her devotees. Get to the point. When you freed me, you severed a bond between me and that dog, Thorm. A bond of pain. His, inflicted on me. When I laid eyes on you, I sensed a similar bond. You, tethered to two others, someplace distant. Let me help you remember. You feel Shadowheart's mind tug at the edges of your own. You know this sensation. She wants you to see whatever is about to be revealed. Okay. Your mind joins with Shadowheart's. Something pulls at you both, bringing you elsewhere. You already know. Did you not see yourself in him? Do you not recognize your own blood? My father. That was him. That is him. He lives still. And your mother, too. No. It can't be. I'm an orphan. And who told you that? Your adoptive family? You are not to blame. You were young. Impressionable. They took you because they wanted to break and remake you. But you are a child no longer. You are a woman. One who knows what must be done. My parents... I need to save them. Your parents are with your abductors. You will need to return to their lair. But be warned. You may have once thought of them as comrades. Mentors, friends, even lovers. They will all be enemies now. You have been forewarned for what is to come. But not yet forearmed. <gasps> I was able to retrieve it before it sank too far into Shah's umbral domain. Shah is quick to discard whatever she has no use for. I think you know that well enough. But I felt it call to me as I took flight. Whatever Shah calls her own, Saluna has equal claim to. They are one and the same. Their power is matched and mirrored. Take it. You will find it useful. What you do with it, that will be up to you. Same as before. I'll need every advantage, it seems. Thank you. A debt repaid. You returned my life unto me. Now go and claim your own. It hurts. 
Shah torments you still. What a spiteful creature she is. This will not stop until you take action. See that your parents' sacrifices are not in vain. Allow the Moon Maiden to guide you at last. Spear of the Night. Okay, any wanna talk? Be gone, friend. I have a darling to adore. Looking forward to a bit of rest, if I'm honest. It's been a long century. Anybody needs talking to? Lazelle? Shadowheart was no true child of Shah, merely a captive. She must have her vengeance. Huh. Well, taken from the light to be raised in darkness, your truth is finally dawning, Shadowheart. You can follow its light, or you can retreat back into dusk. The truth is finally dawning. Shadowheart can follow its light, or she can retreat back into dusk. Poor Shadowheart. She's been jerked around so much. I want to believe the gods keep this world balanced, but sometimes... Sometimes I wonder. He got his claws into me early. I was a wild kid, brawling my way through the city. One of my mates got wind of a bit of work, guarding some indoorsy type with lots of enemies. Seemed like easy money, so I went in for it. He took one look at me and said I was perfect. I like that. Not like that, you know. Just, it felt like a good fit. I kept him safe and he paid me well. Well enough to move my folks into a better neighborhood and put something away for the future. My future. I respected him, trusted him. And he returned that trust, that respect. His life was in my hands, and I took that seriously. The whole thing with Zauriel happened so fast. I had no idea what had gone down until it was over. One minute I was in Baldur's Gate, a happy, healthy, not quite kid. The next, I was burning up in a Vernus with an engine for a heart. Zariel laughed said she paid him well for my services. She'd wanted to test her new machine, and he said I'd be able to handle it. He was right. Sometimes I wish he weren't. Evil, evil bastard. Okay. These lands will soon be free of Shah's grasp. You can almost sense it. If I was a bard, I might be tempted to draw comparisons between nature and myself both shaking off Shah. But luckily for you, I'm no bard. Fine. What's on your mind? How are you holding up? Don't be so modest. I can't remember the last time I met someone like you. Perhaps I never did. And never will again. Okay. At least Shadowheart is armed with the truth now. May its keen edge draw forth whatever vengeance she desires. So, it's a quest to free Shadowheart's parents, is it? And here I was, worried I'd be the only one with a difficult family reunion waiting in the city. Huh. Where's the other... It's 
definitely sell. Did she leave at the party? Did she? No. Ship here. not linger in this land over long but whatever your business I will aid you if I can I don't believe it they can't be breathe child resist not the winds of change let them carry thee no no listen Dost thou not hear it? Where creation meets ruin, where morning meets midnight, the root of all being. Balance. They're dead! I can't! Balance. Your very soul is tangled in shadow. Arabella's magic, wild as cursed briar. Her talent is now yours, too. Huh? The girl must learn the ways of the arcane. But she shan't remain here. Where will she go, then? The weave knows her purpose. It will guide her plainly, if she listens. Arabella holds a power beyond reckoning. That of the decaying forest and the seedling that bore it. But it is unbalanced. Her yoke is already heavy. If she walks thy path, it will surely break. Arabella will depart once thou dost leave these accursed lands. She will find her way safely. Thus, it is fated. Bowman, you're making me leave. Fear not, girl. Abandon not the weave, and it shall not abandon thee. If he stays, you'll be safe. You should believe him. I... <laughs> You feel her grief fade as if it were your own. There is a lightness in her now, veiling the power within, soothing it. Is that my future? Is that why they died? It is. It's wonderful. Thank you, Bowman, for being nice. If there are people like you around, perhaps everything will be all right. Reward. Withers encouraged her but to learn the ways of the weave. She loved to find her own way in the world. Shadow Blade. She's still here. If Bowman says I'll be all right, I'll be all right. I just wish. I wish it was different. I wish Mum and Pops was here. It hurts. I know it does, but you'll be better in time. I hope so. Because it stinks. Alright, Bonan. Thou hast now a bosom companion. Take care that thou art not distracted on thy quest. Seeking the comforts of the flesh. Excuse me? 
Recall that in time, all becomes dust and bone. Okay. Guess we'll go to sleep now. Seems simple enough. Wants to talk? Shadowheart. You'll have to look elsewhere for company. I already have an arrangement. There's nothing for you and I to discuss. You'll have to confide in someone else. I'm spoken for. What? Alson, how we doing? I swear, I can all. You'll pass. All right. Why can't I talk to Shadowheart? Seems like a bug or something. Alright, leave camp. The curse has been lifted. The land's cleansed of the shadows. Cethric's reign of living death is over. Your courage has been tested, and in this at least, you have triumphed. <laughs> 